Glory to Jesus Christ. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Hello, brothers. Hello, sisters in Christ. Welcome back to my channel. I hope that you all have had a wonderful, fantastic weekend so far. Amen. So people of God, today I am releasing another prophetic word. And I got to tell you, I believe that this message is a very, very important message for the person that this word is for. This is especially true for those of you that are a part of the group that God was telling us about over the last few messages, the children that were recently released from your wilderness. Okay. And in that place, that is where God made you ready to not only possess your land, but also to operate in the anointing and the gifts that he nurtured in you when you were in your isolated place with him. Hallelujah. But before I release the word of the Lord, people of God, you all know my stance. Don't come to me. Go to God. Why? Because I am just the messenger. I'm just a vessel that the Lord uses to release his messages. Amen. God is the one that has your answers. And so you should seek him. Okay. Remember, according to first John chapter four, it is your responsibility to test the spirit behind this message and all prophetic messages that you hear from a person. Amen. And the Bible also encourages us in second Timothy to study, to show ourselves approve. Why? Because when we study the scriptures, when we read the whole these scriptures, we learn something. We acquire knowledge, right? God heightens our discernment. He gives us wisdom and we take those things and we can use them to weigh whatever prophetic messages that we're hearing from someone against what the word of God says. Hallelujah. So people of God, the Lord informed me that today is the day that I needed to release this specific message to you because he said a powerful manifestation will begin to operate within many of you in your lives starting today. That's right, today as you are listening to this message. The Lord said that your spiritual gifts, listen people of God, your spiritual gifts just intensify and you need to pay attention to what he's doing through you moving forward says the spirit of the Lord I need to repeat that the Lord says listen carefully child of God your spiritual gifts just intensify and you need to pay attention to what he is doing through you moving forward says the Lord Brothers and sisters, the Lord asked me to remind you of his word that he used me to release about three Mondays ago, okay? And the title was, it will appear gradually and God said to keep it all. Now I will put the link below in the description box and the comment section, okay? So that you'll get a chance to take a look at it if you have not. But in that word, there was something very specific that God mentioned that is the foundation of this word today. One of the many things God said in that word that is very significant to this message is the Lord said that there would be an increase in your anointing and spiritual gifts. God said that a few of you will be promoted in the spirit realm as mothers and fathers to many just like Abraham and Sarah and God also said in that word that some of you would suddenly be able to pray fire bullets from your mouth that would reroute demons back to the depths of hell where they come from my God why because the Lord said that we are currently living in times in which healing and deliverance and prayer are needed and as a result God made you child of God ready in your wilderness place by appointing, by anointing, and gracing you to partake in this work for God's kingdom and for his glory. Hallelujah. People of God, the Lord is highlighting specific spiritual gifts that he says that you will function in because they will be used in this season and future seasons of your life to carry out God's purpose for you in the earth. Now, the Lord led me to be very clear in this word as it relates to the spiritual gifts. In the word of God, all Christians are given spiritual gifts according to what the Lord chooses to give the child of God, okay? And in addition to that, 
that. The Bible teaches us that we are never to see ourselves as being better than another brother or sister in Christ because of the gifts that the Lord has given us, because of the gifts that we possess. Amen. And we know this to be true because if you have your Bibles, people of God, it's very important that we read the scriptures together so that no one gets the wrong impression of what the Lord is speaking to you about as it relates to spiritual gifts. So if you go to Romans chapter 12, verses three through eight, okay, and this is the King James Version, it says, for I say through the grace given unto me to every man that is among you, not to think of himself more highly than he ought to think, but to think soberly according to as God hath dealt to every man the measure of faith. For as we have many members in one body and all members have not the same office. So we being many are one body in Christ and every one members of one another. Having then gifts differing according to the grace that is given to us, whether prophecy, let us prophesy according to the proportion of faith or ministry, let us wait on our ministering or he that teaches teacheth on teaching or he that exhorteth an exhortation he that giveth let him do it with simplicity he that ruleth with diligence he that sheweth mercy with cheerfulness so having said all of this people of God and to whom this word is for this is what the Lord is saying and God says he wants you to listen carefully the Lord says because he is the one that chooses whom the spiritual gifts go to he has selected a few of you God says he has selected his children that were recently released from isolation with him to have the following gifts because you have been entrusted by God to steward them with humility and without pride and without arrogance and without compromise and to bring him glory, says the Lord. God says that these gifts are of his spirit, Holy Spirit, and they have the power to produce great faith. God says they have the power to produce healing and miracles. And the Lord says that these gifts were previously granted to some of you, but but you could not operate in them efficiently because they needed to be further developed. They needed to be further cultivated by him over the years through your multiple wilderness experiences, through your trials and through your tribulations and through the tests that you have endured, says the spirit of the Lord. And God says, as of now, these gifts are mature enough in you and he has intensified them in you to pursue, listen, people of God, to pursue the work that is needed in the areas of healing, deliverance, miracles, and having great faith says the Lord. God says that his children that now carry these gifts are somewhat aware that they have them already. But God says in the upcoming days, these gifts will manifest often and they will intensify as you are pursuing the assignments that he has given you to carry out in the earth. God says, as it relates to his gift of faith, he needs you to listen. He has already given you a measure of faith, but with this intensified manifestation of faith that he has given you, child of God, it will give you a supernatural ability to exercise a rare trust, um, to exercise um, strong confidence in him. And this faith will be so solid, child of God, that it will allow you to trust God more than you ever have before and without wavering. And God says this intensified gift of faith will even empower you, listen, to influence others to have more faith just like you, says the Spirit of the Lord. My God, brothers and sisters, hallelujah. I feel the presence of the Holy Spirit. The Lord is also saying, as it relates to his gifts of healings, he says, it has intensified. He has intensified this gift for many of you to supernaturally heal a sick person, to supernaturally heal a person that is dealing with physical infirmities, spiritual infirmities, and emotional 
physicians from various diseases and sicknesses and illnesses and strongholds through the touch of hands and anointed prayers of fire the Lord says that the gifts of healings will be manifested through many of you says the Spirit of the Lord and finally I hear the Lord saying as it relates to the gift of working of miracles working of miracles the Lord says he only intensified this gift in a select few of you a small group of you as to display his supreme authority as to display his power so that it may combat unbelief in the people who do not believe so that it may confirm his messages and substantiate his presence in the earth says the spirit of the Lord God says the time has now come for these gifts to manifest through you strongly says God why because the Lord says that there are people that need healing there are people that need deliverance there are people that need to believe that God is real so that people that you encounter that do not know him will come to him through you says the Lord God says these gifts that he has intensified within you are strictly being given so that you will fulfill the heavy mandate that he has placed on your life. God says all of his gifts are important, but there is a shortage of the operation of these specific gifts in the areas of faith, in the area of healing and miracles. And God says that these gifts are desperately needed because many do not believe that they can be healed. Many do not believe that they can be set free from bondages and strongholds that have held them captive for so long, says the Lord. And many do not believe that healing and deliverance can still take place today in their lives. God says, believe in me, the Lord, your God, they shall be healed, says the spirit of the Lord. God says, I have chosen many of you for these gifts because I have refined them. I have pruned them and I have tested them to be effective to manifest through you, says God. Therefore, from this day forward, listen, people of God, from this day forward, God says, pay very close attention to what I am doing. Be on the lookout and be ready to operate in one of these spiritual gifts anywhere and at any given time, says the spirit of the Lord. God says, take notice to your upcoming assignments so that you will bring me glory and testify to others the good news of your Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, says the Lord. My God, so people of God, I pray that the Lord will speak to you clearly and give you more revelation concerning where and when you will operate in your new intensified spiritual gifts of faith, healing, and working of miracles, or maybe even all three in Jesus name. I speak tremendous blessings over your life and I decree and declare that God will never leave you nor forsake you and that he will be with you for all the rest of your days in Jesus name. Remember, we are here on purpose to glorify God in Jesus holy name. Brothers and sisters, I love you. I absolutely love you. And I want you all to have a blessed, blessed day. Okay, bye.